Hi, if you've watched previous videos on the channel, you'll know I've made a 10 metre mini horse out of plastic conduit. And these are pictures from those videos. Uh, well, I've decided uh, I could make a better one. Uh, and that's what this video is about. Hope you enjoy. So just a quick reminder of the 10 metre mini horse dimensions and the layout. That's the front, so that's the director. Uh, that's the driven element uh, with the two uh, capacitive ends. And that's the uh, reflector. Uh, so overall very short front to back dimension wise not very wide and that's a diagonal uh, for when you're doing construction remember it's not a square so when you're laying out your spreaders um, it's a rectangle so don't get caught out by doing a perfect 90 degree square uh, so you just need under 16 meters of wire overall so the previous plastic mini horse works fine and it's it can be disassembled in this version I've gone for eight foot, uh, just under two and a half meter garden canes uh, and a chopping board as a center spreader. Uh, and here you can see me laying out the canes on the floor, uh, lining up the canes on the chopping board and then drilling uh, for cable ties. And you can see I've drilled a hole through the center of the board. Uh, that's to take the top of my mast. So here we see the Mark II mini horse taking shape. I haven't trimmed the canes yet, I've left the uh, the excess in place. Uh, I've used the same wire from the previous version, I uh, just attached it in the same dimensions as I showed earlier. So here you can see the, uh, the director wire, the brown wire coming off the front and the return of that cane there taped off. Uh, goes along this front there to the other cane uh, so just replicated on the other side uh, here's some fishing line that supports the end of the driven element these are the two capacitive ends and again that cane supports the uh, the driven element going to the center uh, moving back to the yagi some more fishing line just to keep that side tensioned this is the reflector it's a bit longer than the uh, director on the front and again runs across the back uh, and is duplicated on this other arm. And here we can see how straight and level this cane version of the Yagi is. It stays nice and flat under tension and there you can see the three wires all in rough alignment. There's a little bit of sag but it's uniform across them all. Uh, it's minor. Uh, so lovely uh, flat pattern uh, compared to the plastic version. Now there's probably different ways of doing this but I've used these brackets to hold the chopping board onto my mast. Uh, they were spare in the toolbox so I've bent them round, bolted them onto the chopping board, used this holes clamp, uh, the Jubilee clip to clamp onto the pipe. And I was pleasantly surprised with this fitting because it's really really solid. And here you can see I've trimmed the canes, I just need to attach the coax choke and then we're ready for tests. And again, I've used the chalk from the previous design. This is five turns of RG58 on a four and a quarter inch former. Both the center element and the chalk have these ring connectors that are just attached uh, together by these stainless steel bolts. And here I've got my portable mass setup weighted down with water bottles in the rear garden just for some tests. So here we are in the shack for some SWR tests. Uh, apologies for the reflections, it's very sunny today. So if we just check, um, 100 watts. SWR, one to one. So it didn't move there. Move at the band, 28, 140. One to one again. Up into the all mode, in SSB, still one to one. And there's this is B stations still one to one get up to about 29 still one to one above 29 still one to one 29.3 and it's starting to rise there so it's 1.2 uh, and it'll rise from that point onwards up near the FM calling frequency there one and a half, which will still tune in with your rigs tuner, so, or, well, at, at least a megahertz width 
the wonder one SWR so success and I've shown the performance of the mini horse in previous videos but just as a quick reminder so this is uh, the mini horse on 10 meters uh, and if I switch to my off center fed dipole which is a 40 meter off center fed dipole so it works all the way up to six so I'll switch that over to now uh, you can see the frequencies at the bottom uh, significantly dropped and the waterfall going up is now uh, weaker weaker signal so that's the off center fed dipole if I switch if you look at the bottom line if I switch up now and there's all the other signals coming back uh, so significant difference just another view this is again the mini horse I'm pointing southeast uh, towards Europe uh, so if I swing the beam uh, right the way around to north west so I'm pointing in the opposite direction uh, you'll be able to see the signals drop off so that's through south southwest and you can see um, some of the nulls kicking in there look uh, significant drop off um, that's pointing west so if I come back around to southeast and again if you look at the bottom line it's coming around now uh, this is southwest again the null there you can see all the signal is dropping off uh, coming around to south here they are picking up and back around to uh, southeast now so quite a marked difference and the nulls can help reject a noise you don't want and obviously the beam pointing in the direction you want is getting you that increased gain on receive as well as transmit so really pleased again with how the mini horse performs. I'm going to keep this version made up because it's so flat when the mast's not attached it can be stored against the side of the house uh, and it won't stick out at all. Uh, if you enjoyed this video uh, please consider subscribing and joining the channel.